Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a magic mentor and an engineer with the Navy, and I'm here interviewing uh, Chloe about her magic mentor project, um, as well as her mentor Namrata. Thank you and welcome. Chloe, can you introduce yourself um, and give you, give a little bit about your project and introduce your mentor as well? Yeah, sure. Um, hi, I'm Chloe. Um, I'm going into my senior year. Um, I live in New York City. And the, over the Magic Mentorship, my mentor and I, um, we worked with asthma and the genetics behind asthma. So we read multiple research papers, did a lot of different research about asthma, genetics, the key parts that they played together with each other. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what my magic mentor was about. Um, and then this is my mentor, Nimrata. She works at the Cincinnati Children's Hospital with um, new and needle baby, babies, and she works with epigenetics and um, neuro diseases. So yeah. Wow, that sounds really interesting. <laughs> Especially during these um, challenging times. So Chloe, what do you think you learned the most about your project? Um, well, I guess not about not as more genetics, but kind of like how two like big topics in like biology can be linked together in like such a different way because I've always been fascinated with the two and I thought it was really cool how these two could be linked together. And even throughout like our research, I kind of got to learn about a lot of like different things I never heard about, like epigenetics for one thing, like I read an article on epigenetics behind asthma and also like comorbidities, which I thought were like really cool. And I kind of thought like, oh, that's kind of like asthma and genetics, how I'm putting them together, like how like two diseases can be like present at the same time kind of thing, so yeah. Oh wow, that sounds really cool. What made you um, decide on this topic? Um, so I have this course at Marymount, the school that I go to, and it's called Independent Science Research. So over the year I have been doing um, a lot of work with um, asthma over kind of the entire year. So I did like a lot of research at the end of the year before um, Corona hit. I was like really interested in genetics. So um, if I myself, like um, through March through, I guess May, I was doing a little more research by myself about genetics and then also about asthma, but I really like liked the two kind of equally. So during this mentorship, I kind of wanted to combine the two and see what I could do with it. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Now, Marada, what was the thing that um, you learned over the course of this project or your favorite thing? Uh, my favorite thing over this course was like, Chloe is not afraid of asking any question. And that's the best thing being in science. You always have questions and whatever I ask her to read, she enjoy reading all the scientific journal. I was like being on the side because she's a senior at high school. So I didn't want it to give her all that peer reviewed journal but I gave her a few and she enjoyed it. And that was like, oh yeah, it's still like reading all the scientific journal. Over this course, she read six or seven journal and she read it well. And I was like, wow, that's what we need. That was that like, is, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what I was doing when I was in high school, but she is so motivated, so determined to do something in science. I can see that. That's the best thing about Chloe. Oh, that sounds fantastic. I was just going to ask Chloe, what do you want to, how do you want to use this in your future? Um, so going into my senior year, I want to present more, um, more like scientific functions, like symposiums, like we were supposed to have one at the end of the year, but that didn't really get to happen. So I'd really like to broaden my research and kind of delve into a more specific topic, like, like asthma or like genetics and like see where that could take me because I'm really interested in this. And I've been writing a lot about my, about my supplements for colleges when they're asking me like what I want to do with my life, like why I want to go to a specific college. I found myself writing a lot about like my passion for like science and how much I enjoy just learning that it's not really like a task for me, but like rather something that I really want to do. So um, I'm hoping to just really research a lot more and hopefully I'm getting to make a career out of this and maybe even next year getting to um, getting to do some research and experimentation and like showing that at the science fair or symposium. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. What would you say to other girls who are interested in STEM? Um, kind of just to like 
go after it. Find something that you really, you're really passionate about because like I'm sure there is one thing that you're super passionate about, whether it's asthma, genetics, um, chemistry, physics, anything really that you're really interested in. You should just like kind of find something that you're passionate about and just kind of latch onto that and see where it takes you. And if you get bored, um, don't stick with it, like try something else because getting bored, it only seems like it's a responsibility or a task. And like, that's why I was happy to do asthma and genetics because even from June through August, I was still excited to do my research every week. So. That is so fantastic. Chloe, you have an amazingly bright future in front of you. I can't wait to hear more about your project. Thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your time with magic. Yes, I did. Thank you.